YouTube is a platform that is constantly changing in terms of everything. The algorithm, content, sub boxes, ads, etc. And because of this, the content creators must evolve. If they fail to do so, the relevance will eventually fade away and they'll be forgotten by many on the platform. There has been many examples of this. A few are Ray William Johnson, Tabuscus, and Tyler Oakley. On the other hand, however, there are content creators who have adapted to the changing climate of YouTube and have been able to maintain relevance for many years. One of these is Charlie aka Penguin Zero. He started making YouTube videos back in 2007 and is still relevant to this day. So today, I'd like to analyze how Penguin Zero aka Moist Critical has maintained relevance. Charlie created his YouTube channel on May 7th 2007 but didn't post his first video until August 5th 2007 which was titled Years of War Jetpack Glitch No Standby or Lag Switch AP. In this video Charlie was showcasing a glitch on the game Gears of War. This video didn't receive many views but regardless of that he continued to make gaming videos. Unfortunately these also didn't receive much attention. He began to gain some traction once he started adding commentary to his videos. The first one being Aliens vs Predators Let Rock Achievement Guide. People really enjoyed the sound of Charlie's voice as they found it to be really deep and serious. Charlie realized that adding commentary to his videos was helping him grow so he continued to do so. Aside from just adding commentary to his videos, Charlie also began to add humor. The first video where he started implementing some humor was Battlefield Bad Company 2 Hilarious Round Saving Destruction. It covered an accent he had in Battlefield Bad Company 2. He continued to upload comedic videos in the game. The first video that was sold focused on the humor was Modern Warfare 2 Ground War 1 to 20 game playing commentary where he played poorly on purpose insulted other players and also self deprecated in terms of views this video outperformed many of his earlier videos so Charlie then decided to start covering other games while still providing the same style of commentary on Call of Duty and playing horrendously on purpose once Charlie uploaded his co-op video which was called the most difficult game ever created game playing commentary where he sarcastic rages at the game, his channel exploded in popularity as Ray William Johnson caught wind of the video and reviewed it on his channel, bringing loads of people to Charlie's channel. When it comes to staying relevant for many years, the key is to keep evolving as the platform is changing and the content along with it. Meaning an equals 3 video by Ray William Johnson wouldn't hold up on today's YouTube as the humor is really outdated. Or a Happy Wheels video by Toby Games wouldn't get anywhere on YouTube today as Let's Plays are a dying genre. Charlie evolved by keeping his humor up to par, looking for audiences on other platforms besides just YouTube, and staying on top of the game by covering and doing whatever is trending. While he he may have started off on YouTube doing gameplay commentaries. He didn't just stick to that. If he would have done that, his channel would have eventually died. And when he did do gameplay commentaries, he kept adding things to them. First, it was just gameplay and no commentary. Then, it was both gameplay and commentary. And finally, it was gameplay, commentary, and humor. If he had just kept doing gameplay by itself, or gameplay and boring commentary, his channel would have faded away into obscurity. Charlie's best decisions for staying relevant were we're dropping the idea of remaining completely anonymous and beginning to stream on Twitch. While obviously someone doesn't have to completely drop their anonymity in order to be relevant as there are YouTubers out there who stay relevant regardless of the fact that they're anonymous. A few examples are Quite, Grande, Dolan Dark, and Swagger Souls. The first time Charlie's face was seen by some of his fans was back in late 2015 as in the video titled Paint the Town Red Game Playing Commentary, Charlie had brought up the fact that he had posted a Snapchat story of himself himself playing the recorder. After the video was uploaded, he posted a comment in the comment section with his username on Snapchat. People saw his story and spread it around. However, it wasn't until March 5th, 2017 where Charlie uploaded a video called 10 Years on YouTube, where he shows his face for the first time on his channel. Obviously at the time he was very uncomfortable with showing his face, but ever since that video dropped, he started using face cam more and more. So he eventually became comfortable with showing his face, and now the vast 
vast majority of his videos have his face in them. If he wouldn't have done this and just stuck to gameplay and video as the background with his voice overlaying it, his channel might have died off a little as commentating over gameplay is a thing of the past. Now, face cam commentaries are where it's at. Charlie decided to start streaming on Twitch last year. Before this, he streamed on YouTube but stopped due to the severe lack of communication between him and YouTube's support team. On his Twitch, he'll stream himself playing games or watching videos that the viewers recommend him to watch. At the time of writing the script, Charlie has over 360,000 followers on Twitch and over 6,800 subs. Charlie will average anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 viewers per stream. Some of these followers and viewers may not come from YouTube, but rather just find Charlie's stream while browsing Twitch. Every Twitch channel has panels below the stream player. Charlie has a panel up for his YouTube channel, so some of these people that find his stream may be enticed to go check out his channel if they're enjoying the stream. To sum everything up, Charlie stayed relevant by constantly adapting his content to the changing environment of YouTube. When he was making gameplay and video commentaries, he added as many changes to them as he could to keep them fresh. When he stopped making those in order for his channel not to die out completely, he had to drop staying completely anonymous and find another place to garner an audience on. So, he started to show his face in videos and he began to stream on Twitch. So if you want to become a YouTuber or Twitch streamer and stay relevant for a long time, you have to always keep evolving your content in order to keep it fresh and entertaining. Entertaining. Otherwise, you're on the risk of becoming another Ray William Johnson. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to give a shout out to Ice Cream Beef and Tunneling OG on Twitter for helping me with the revision of the script. They've both got YouTube channels that you can go and check out if you'd like. But besides that, thank you everyone once again. If you liked the video, feel free to drop it a like, drop me a sub, share this video with your family and friends, follow me on Twitter, ShampyYT, join my Discord server down below. Also, be sure to follow my Twitch. I'll start streaming real soon. Most likely I'll just be streaming games that I used to play as a kid. It'll just be a nice time overall for you guys to come and hang out and talk to me. But yeah, besides that, I'll see you all next one. Take care and goodbye.